Born in and asking God to give him a second chance. Ever since that day, please follow me here. This is my point. The fear has not been really to die. The fear has been, what if I don't do what God has called me here on earth to do before I die? And that is the question I'm trying to you. Why are you scared to die? Why must why must God keep your life? We are going through a very trying times in the world. There is a pandemic going on around the world. People are trying to save their lives. People are trying to save the lives of their family. Of what use? How is how is how will keep God keeping you alive benefit the kingdom of God? So that you do what? When all this goes away, you continue with your life. You buy another car, or you buy that private jet, or you buy that shoe that you wanted to buy. The ones you have now, how are you using them? The shoe you have, you can't wear it out. That latest car you bought, where are you driving it to? There is lockdown. That croc skin bag you bought, who is caring about those things now? You see, because what has happened in, in, the, in, in our lifetime is that we pay so much attention in the material things of life that we forget to pay attention to the most important thing, which is our soul. And sometimes in trying to pursue these things, we don't know also. I'm not saying that anything is wrong with getting all those things. I have most of those things. But you see, when you make the, that thing your, your, your focus in life, Forgetting the reason why you're called on earth, that is where you begin to struggle. Why should God keep you alive? What makes you better than the people that have died? People are dying. A 17 year old died. Now we are thinking that this thing is not is only for older people. A 17 year old died. How are we now going to? How how are you going to reconcile? Reconcile that. How are you better than people that are in the grave? The people that you're older than, the people that are older than you. What makes you think you're too special? Why should God keep you alive? That's the question I'm asking. How is your being alive and breathing benefiting to his kingdom? Because you see what you have to realize and what the Bible, you know, uh, made us understand in, in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 5 from verse 10. Is first of all, we are not here on our own accord. We are here on someone else's time. The life you are living now is the life of God. I think you should open that part of the Bible and read it. Because sometimes it's always good when we are saying these things. You will be reading it so that you understand. Second Corinthians chapter 5. Let me just read a little bit from verse, from verse 10. It says, For we believers will be called for account and must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ so that each may be repaid for what he or she has done in the body, whether good or bad. That is, each will be held responsible for his action, purpose, goals, motive, the use or misuse of his time, opportunities, and abilities on earth. Therefore, since we know the fear of the Lord and understand the importance and obedience and worship, we pursue people to be reconciled to Him. How is your being alive? Benefiting the kingdom of God. How is that going to actually help the kingdom of God? Why should God keep you alive? So that you can buy another car and buy another house and buy. Because if we don't get this particular thing right, we will keep chasing shadow. This has nothing now to do with, oh, uh, this church, this man of God. Uh, I'm talking about your own life now. You, you. Ever since you stopped going to the church because you believe that all men of God are fake, ever since you, you, you stopped listening to, how has that increased and improved your Christian life? If you die today, how are you going to give an account of your life because all of us are going to face the judgment seat of Christ? The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 20, in fact, that's in, if you read up, it said we are ambassadors for Christ. If you check out what the word ambassador is, 
it, 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 you know, in the literal meaning means, you know, uh, a, a diplomat of a state sent to another state or another country to represent the state that sends him or her. That's an ambassador. Now, if the Bible calls us an ambassador, what that means is that we are not from here. The Bible even made it clear. He said we are in the world, but we are not of the world. What that means is that even though we are here, we 